you maintain the same relations. You don't need to look for these relations again. You need to have a massive temporary bridge. We already chose the multi-units. Hi, welcome back to Onika Dental Show where we discuss interesting cases and new procedures in the field of dentistry. Don't forget to leave a like, share, subscribe, follow us and send us your interesting cases. With us today is always Dr. Leniv. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Amazing. What have you brought for us today? Well, today we have a case uh, where we'll make a squirt and illustration bridge on the upper jaw. We'll uh, extract some of the teeth. Then we'll have a temporary bridge on the teeth we left. And later on, we'll change the temporary bridge, the provisional bridge to a zirconia bridge on top of those implants. You can see the pigmentation, you can see that the periodontal health uh, of those teeth is not the best. Uh, we made some x-rays, we checked the implant, checked the teeth, the teeth need to be extracted. Uh, they're hopeless, you can't do anything really good for these teeth. And what we're gonna show is how we made all the procedure while leaving the patient with a temporary bridge that they can uh, have some function with and uh, not a denture or something like this. My question is, you said only the upper jaw? Yeah, in um, this case... The lower jaw looks, don't look much better. <laughs> yeah, the lower jaw is, isn't much better, it's probably the same. Uh, but first of all, sometimes it's easier to make one jaw uh, to replace the teeth for implants on one jaw and later on the other jaw because you have you maintain the same relations. You don't need to look for these relations again. In here, you can see that from uh, the canine and going backwards, it's a bridge. The patient have an occlusion. If you extract all the lower teeth and these upper teeth, you'll need to find again the right occlusion of this patient. So in this case, it's much easier to uh, change the upper teeth to a bridge on implants. And later on, the lower teeth also. Do it step by step. Yeah, doing it step by step. In some cases, it's even easier for the patient because uh, first of all, psychologically, you change some of the, his teeth and he, he still is left with some other teeth and he doesn't have a bleeding pain all over his mouth. It's sometimes it's much easier, it depends on every case. Uh, sometimes you want to change everything at once. Sometimes you want to do it uh, periodically. You want to change one jaw, later on the, the other jaw. Here we see it after the extractions, right? With two teeth that had the... Uh... Yeah, you can see uh, that three teeth remained. Mm -hmm. uh, those teeth were extracted. Uh, the teeth that, was, that were remained, we made root canal treatment and uh, post and core, we cemented to these teeth for, for the temporary bridge to have a better retention on those teeth. It's, everything is uh, temporary. Later, later on, we'll extract those teeth also, but we wanted for those teeth to last this amount of time. We wanted to last at least uh, five, six months until the implants will uh, also integrate and we'll have a better, for example, temporary bridge and later on a permanent zirconia bridge. What are the black area in the right upper jaw? And here, this one is probably a PFM bridge, porcelain fused to metal. Probably when the bridge was made, the height, height of the porcelain was small enough. And when the doctor checked the occlusion, he needed to remove from this, from this spot. Mm -hmm. So he removed, removed, removed until he got to the metal. Probably the occlusion, some part in the occlusion taking part was, was wrong. That's why it happened. That's why it broke? It's not broke. The, the doctor removed it. Oh, it's not broke? Yeah, because the lower teeth uh, interfered with the, this bridge. So he removed from the porcelain until he left with the... Uh, it's not a black dot, it's just the metal. It's okay. It's okay, yeah. To have a black spot in your to eye, it's spot perfectly between. fine. No, it, it sometimes happens. The patient knows, I hope. You need to really <laughs> look for it. Uh, if it was in the buckle parts, uh, the bridge was probably was remade, but in here, 
probably there was maybe it broke maybe something happened maybe uh, they removed the porcelain after the cementation of the bridge uh, you can have many different reasons why you should leave it maybe there is not enough space between the prepared upper tooth and the lower tooth so there wasn't even a cement uh, porcelain placed in this area this is the temporary bridge yeah you can see it's not the best temporary bridge <laughs> it looks like one solid unit yeah because it's a temporary bridge that it's uh, cemented on only three teeth you need to have a massive temporary bridge you can't have a temporary bridge where all the embrasures and the gingiva everything looks good because every embrasure you you make you weaken, weaken the bridge the yeah you when you weaken the bridge in this case there can be fractures there'll be a, a lot of problems you you want for this bridge to hold at least for three months until you can load those implants and to be honest maybe it's even better than what was before there is some consider considerations when you, you you perform in a temporary bridge you need to think about a lot of stuff so in this case probably the uh, the temporary bridge was made a little thick a little bit thicker for it not to break down and it was a little bit on the aesthetic part and uh, the gingiva will heal and then the bridge will be changed yeah the gingiva will heal the implant will also integrate we'll see how the gingiva healed so we'll know in the future parts what type of multi-units we should use how we would design the crowns around the gingiva so you'll have a nice a continuity between the gingiva and the teeth themselves and still the lower bridge. yeah the lower teeth are awful no they are still uh, haven't touched them yeah only in the f okay well here we see it's after the implantation it's after the removal of the cover screws uh, we chose the right multi-units for every implant mm -hmm. by the height of the multi-unit you can see by the colors of the multi unit the different types of multi units that there are mm -hmm. you can see that this tooth is has so much carries that even the the color that we used was removed with the bridge the bridge that was cemented on temporary cement so that these teeth are in really bad situation in this case we took an impression on those multi-units yeah, it's all multi-unit level right yeah you know the height. exactly when you know the height mm -hmm. it's all multi-unit level uh, later on after the healing of this uh, swallowing of the gingiva you can maybe change one or two of the multi-units but uh, it's much easier taking impressions on multi-unit level we took on multi-unit level impressions on all of the multi-unit mm -hmm. while we didn't extract the teeth because in this case you put back the bridge that we took off before mm -hmm. and the patient waits for the new bridge to be constructed and to be made for him to heal and no 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 you just wait for for the manufacturing of the new bridge oh, this is the okay. yeah the new bridge will go on top of these multi units mm -hmm. and to put the bridge on top of these multi units we need to extract those teeth so we'll have uh, two operations in one day we'll have the extraction of the teeth and the assembly of the bridge but we already chose the multi-units we took impressions the patient waits depends how long it takes to make the bridge uh, if you have a CATCA machine or you send it elsewhere it's from one to a week one day to a week probably would take and here you can see the bridge you can see that it's on a, it's a five, PMA. Uh, yeah PMA temporary bridge milled we can see on the five sleeves I see a screw channel yeah this you can see the screw buckly. channels here uh, some goes very buckly uh, later on you can maybe change the multi-units to angled ones uh, because you didn't have a design of this the bridge before you don't know I what type of multi-unit you can use and if you have any problem with the uh, angulation but even though it goes to the buckle part you see it's in the distal part of the canine so maybe if you'll close it up you won't see the screw channel you can see the extraction of the teeth the multi-units uh, looks a little bit messy we have five multi-units 
Uh, in here you can see the teeth, in here you can see the sockets of those teeth. Here the right black hole is more noticeable. Yeah, you can see because of the angulation of the camera, you can see it a little bit better. But probably you won't see it uh, in the mouth. Uh, you can see... Uh, the food don't get stuck in, inside them? No, it's not hole. It's just, ah, the, just the porcelain. It's, it's just the metal without the porcelain. Oh, it's flat. It's flat. Mm -hmm. It's just aesthetic part, from the aesthetic part, but if you have these aesthetical problems, this is nothing. Here we see the steps? Well, yeah, the in here you bridge. can see the PMA bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, we're closing the holes with the uh, plastic pins. We put in all of the holes plastic pins. Uh, we remove the handle of the pin and... You can really see the angulation. Yeah, with you can the see the angulation pin. of all of the implants. You can see that the implants are pra practically parallel. So you don't have any buccal inclination. You just, uh, just on these two implants, you have slightly uh, inclined implants. It's fine, it's the upper jaw. Uh, sometimes it's very hard to uh, place implants parallel or uh, that goes a little bit palatal. So it was a job really, really well done. We see scans here. Yeah, you can see the scans and you can see the design. You can see the uh, final design of the crowns. You can see that there is no uh, significant changes between the original teeth and the uh, end result that you, you get. You made it in purpose to look the same. Exactly. Some patients doesn't want to have any noticeable changes in the final crowns and the original teeth that they had. They don't want people to know that they have implants. They want people to think that it's all natural. So we keep the original design. We take this design and we design the new teeth by the original design. You can also see that even though we extracted the teeth, mm -hmm. uh, you would think that there will be a little bit uh, gingival recession. But in this case, instead of having gingival res recession, the gingiva healed and you have even more gingiva than before. Because of the implants and Yeah, the because we extracted the problematic teeth, there is much less inflammation. Uh, the implants are maintained correctly, as they should be. And the gingiva is not inflamed as before. So the gingiva healed a little bit and returned to the original position. Here you can see the... Yeah, yeah the you can see the screw channels, the angulation of the... Uh, screw channels, the angulation of the scan abutments on the multi-unit level. Mm -hmm. You can see the scan of the provisional bridge uh, and you can see the scan of the original. What I wanted to show here, it's not the final work, mm -hmm. but you can see the gingival line. You can see that the gingival line in here is very high, much higher than here. When you have an inflamed gingiva, uh, even though you have teeth, not always you'll have gingival recession. If the procedure done correctly, if the patient have a good hygiene in all of this procedure, when you place the implants, you maintain these areas, you clean well, you, you may, might even get a little bit more gingiva than it was before. It without any uh, surgical interference with the gingiva. In which program it's all done? In Enzucada? Yeah, you, there are different types of programs for designing. Uh, most of the programs, programs are probably, in this case, would uh, be the same. I don't see any advantages for any program. This, everything was made in Exocad, in the uh, latest version with the libraries for these multi-units and just the designing the teeth with libraries, adjusting a little bit the screw channels and that's all. These libraries in Exocad, even if you had gingival recession, for example, after you place the multi-units, mm -hmm. you can still change the height of the multi-unit without taking impressions again. You don't even need to the patient. Yeah, you don't, need it, you don't need to remove the bridge, change the multi-units, take impressions, send to the lab. The biggest advantage in these types of works that you take one time the impression mm -hmm. and later on, if you want to change anything, you can change it according to the last uh, work that you designed. So if in here you wanted this multi-unit to be a little bit smaller or a little bit higher, you could just switch to a different multi-unit 
and the design would still be the same. You'll need to uh, correct it a little bit because you changed the height of the multi-unit, but everything is made really easy. So you have one provisional bridge. Going to the second provisional bridge, it's very easy because you can just uh, replace this, the upper jaw scan, you have the occlusion because we made only the upper jaw. And later on, you just change a little bit the height of the multi unit. You can see how the gingiva changed according to the original scan. You make these small adjustments and you have everything. This yeah. is not the final bridge. This is the final bridge. Oh, this is the final bridge? Yeah. You can see how the bridge and the gingiva, the relations between the gingiva and the bridge, you can see that the teeth are almost touching the gingiva. This is the, the best way it can be because you won't have any pockets between the, the gingiva and the bridge. Uh, the aesthetics looks great. First of all, if you look compared, uh, yeah, to, compared to the original teeth and compared to the lower teeth, uh, she still doesn't brush, don't brush her teeth. The color is, looks fine. The, the most important thing is the design. The design looks very close to the original teeth with the, uh, the color looks exactly as the porcelain fused the metal teeth. You don't see any changes in the color. And you see the relations between the bridge and the gingiva. You see a very healthy maintained gingiva, which is great for implants. And the and smile line the, is good. Yeah, the smile line is very good. In the next step, you, you need to change the lower teeth, probably extractions and implants. Like in a week? Uh, now. When she'll want, yeah, but it's supposed to be quite soon. <laughs> thank you for being here today. You're welcome. And thank you for being here. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow us, and send us your interesting cases so we can view them. Have a great day.